we'll do the another program which is uh, find factorial of a given number okay write 8051c program to find the factorial of a given 8 bit number so for that uh, once you open any project i think uh, still we are here so you can if you want don't create a, a new project for uh, all the programs so you can what you can do is uh, you can once if you want to do some addition uh, some uh, modification of program you have to stop the debug mode then edit once again you build target and you have to execute now if you want to change this program you can remove this full line and you can type here only otherwise if you want to return this program so what you can do is right click remove this file from your project so what happens means uh, in your folder the project the, in the uh, only in the project window your file is removed but in your original folder that file will be still there you can later you can add it and you can verify the output now i am removing this it will just remove from the project not from your folder and uh, right click add new file and add new item to the this is also c file so now i am doing factorial of a number so write factorial okay so nothing is there so i can copy from the another project i already have all the project files so you have to type this if it is not there in your system include register 51.h because we are in the while creation of project we selected the device 80 atmel 89c51 which is 8051 microcontroller so we have to include reg51.h header file so include include stdio.h sometimes uh, without this also it will work let us check uh, uh, by deleting this whether it is going to work or not if it is not working you can add otherwise if, if without this also if it is working that is not required void main open bracket close bracket so uh, unsigned int so here in the previous program we declared as character so here we are declaring i as the variable which is of type unsigned int type okay then unsigned char num is a variable uh, which is of type character and it is unsigned and the value of a uh, num initialized to 5 and this is the number we are going to find the factorial if you want to find the factorial of 8 you just type here 8 if you want to find the factorial of 7 type 7 unsigned long factorial so the data we, uh, range of uh, long is more okay if you are multiplying 8 bit with 8 bit the answer is 16 bit again multiply with you know it is keep on increasing so uh, factorial you have to declare it as long okay otherwise uh, over uh, overflow will occur and you will not get proper output so it is declared as long and initialized uh, factorial initial value of factorial as 1 next uh, we have to calculate factorial of a number so this is a comment in c program embedded c if you write double quote double uh, slash uh, this is actually comment right side is only comment okay and here also this following code is to calculate factorial of a number so this is option if you want you can keep otherwise you can delete it so for i is equal to 1 and i less than num you have to do if the condition is true you have to do factorial is equal to factorial into 1 so factorial star is equal to 1 means it is a short form of factorial is equal to factorial star 1 you have to multiply uh, factorial value with uh, i value which is not 1 i because if the variable is i or if it is uh, not 1 it looks like i uh, uh, 1 so it is not i uh, 1 it is i factorial is equal to factorial star i so what is the value of factorial once you start debug you start initial value of factorial is 1 
initial value of i is 1. So, very first time 1 into 1 will take place. After that, i plus plus will take place. So, i value is 2. Again, it is going to multiply with previous value of factorial with the incremented value of i value. So, this will continue. I after each i plus plus will take place. You have to find out till uh, that number is equal to 5 or less than equal to 5 now. So, that's why less than equal to number that is nothing but 5. And finally, uh, you can uh, send the output to uh, this port 0 and port 1. So, here actually port 1, uh, port 2, port 3, uh, port 0, port 1, port 2, port 3 all are uh, 8 bit only. So, let me check whether uh, one port is enough or we need to use one more port. Let us check it out. Okay, I'll open uh, calculator one minute. Open calculator. Calculator. Uh, here, 5 factorial. 5. Five factorial is 120 uh, and uh, we know that uh, the size of uh, integer okay, uh, that is here uh, 255 maximum 8 bit means 255 so up to 255 for example 6 factorial let us take 6 factorial is 720 720 is more than 255 so 6 factorial we cannot uh, check uh, using a uh, single port Okay, let us check 6 factorial and 5 factorial. 5 factorial is only uh, 120. So, 120 is actually you can fit in only one uh, port. Okay, let us see for both 5 factorial and 6 factorial and 7 factorial. So, let us go for execution. Start, once you type all this, click on build. Okay, uh, build target. So, observe. Zero errors, zero warnings. After that, start debug. Just debug. Open local stocks in this button. Call stack window. It will show a ride call stack windows and it will also show all the variables used. Here you can see i value, num value, factorial value. Since we declared uh, factorial as long. See, you are getting how many? It is uh, each are hexadecim hexadecimal. So, 4, 4, 4, 4, 8, 4, 32 bit. Okay, long means 32 bit. Num is only 8 bit. I is integer, no? I is integer, it is 16 bit. I is 16 bit. Car is only uh, 8 bit here. So, maximum value is 255. Here, maximum value is uh, all 8 bits zeros to all 8 bits 111. Okay. That much you have to check here. And here, 32 bits. Minimum value is all 32 bits are 0. Maximum value is all 32 bits are 1111. So, now we will verify whether program output is coming or not. So, if any previous program, if you open any port, that will also automatically come. So, you close this port. Okay, let us start with this int uh, unsigned int i, then unsigned char num is equal to 5. This num 5 is equal to means we are finding factorial of 5. And unsigned long factorial 1. So, these are the initialization done. Now, for the very first i value is initialized to 1, i is initialized to 1, num is initialized to 5, factorial is initialized to 1. Now, factorial is equal to factorial star i. Factorial is 1, initial value of i is also 1. So, 1 into 1 is 1 only. Factorial should show 1 only. After that, i plus plus will take place. Now, you can see i value. Oh, this after this i plus plus will take after the close bracket i plus plus will take place so now i value is 2 factorial is still 1 now this i is less than 5 
this i value incremented value i two which is still less than five so it will execute factorial is equal to old factorial value into incremented value of i and you can see two into one is two and now i will increment after this close bracket now i is three and three is less than five so again factorial is two two multiplied with three it is equal to six in the factorial you should get six after that again increment value of i is four so it is one eight again increment value of i is five okay yeah. now factorial is 78 78 is equal to okay this is actually if you go to mode 4 in 70 actually in hexadecimal in hexadecimal 78 is equal to uh, decimal 120 because 5 factorial is 120 that will display as in hexadecimal 78 and you are getting 78 here Okay, after that we have to pass that value to um, we have to pass that value to the port which port here port 1 so you have to open peripherals like bar port you can op if you write p0 you have to open port 0 if you write p1 you have to open p1 so, there are four ports are available in 8051 you can open any port and same port you have to use here here port 1 is used so i am opening port 1 so that is still not executed. So what you have to get expected output is 78. So 7 should come here 0, 1, 1, 1 and 1, 0, 0, 0. So now I'll execute this. So now this is going to execute. 78. Okay. Divide equally this 4. Left side 0, 1, 1 is 7. This blank is 0, 1, 1, 1. This is 7. And this is 1, 0, 0, 0. So this is 8. 78, which is equal to 78, which is equal to decimal 120. So this is the output of this. And this is, uh, you have to find the factorial of only uh, small number. Once it crosses, uh, uh, maximum value is here. You can see here, maximum value is only 8 bit. So, if you take 6 also, it is 720, 720 you cannot fit into 1 and uh, that's why you have to take factor, factorial of only small number that is less than 5. If it is uh, more than 5, I think uh, you can see output in here, you can see the output here, but you cannot uh, see in single port, okay. I can show you that, uh, let me check for 6 now. To edit the program, you have to stop this. So change this one to six or seven. Okay. So let us check it now. You have to once again rebuild. Start debug. Okay. I will execute fast. Seven times it will execute. This five is coming, which is factorial of five. Okay, after the increment is this value is coming 6 factorial is 2d0 see 2d0 means uh, this uh, d0 only you can see here d0 only you can see here this 2 you have to use one more port i think in the register see here in the register r7 r6 and r7 this answer is coming the multiplication of these two results in r6 and r7 r6 and r7 the result is coming and also in the um, okay let me check uh, in the in the r6 we are having two and uh, in d naught we are getting uh, it said uh, d0 the so next we will check for seven i value is equal to seven when i value is equal to seven answer is one three b0 okay one three b0 one three is present in R six, 
R7 is having B0. So only B0 will come here, I think. Let us check it out. Okay, now, yeah, B0 only coming. So what you can do is, you can write here one more code and uh, you have to pass uh, this R6 value to, okay, R6 value from register, you have to pass it to, uh, from register R6, you have to pass it to one more port. Then I think uh, uh, you will get the answer. Take one more port, port 2, and you write uh, the content of uh, R6 into that. Okay. So let me check uh, what is the syntax here. I'll so we can include uh, this one more statement p2 is equal to uh, factorial you have to end with uh, 0 f uh, f f this is a 2 f so 2 f 0 0 this intention is we are doing a logical and operation with the factorial factorial you can see here how much are there four bits are there you have to see how much uh, bits are coming here before placing so four bits are coming if six bits are coming so you have to add one more to f f here so here only two four bits are there so this b0 is already displayed here so i want to display this one three also in another port so these two are absent if these are also there again you have to right shift and you have to display in one more port this is also in one more port so now b0 is already displayed in port one now intention is one three should be displayed in another port so this one three should be retained that's why it is ended with one one F means 1111111. So you are detaining this 1013. These two I have to mask. So and with 0. This B0 and it with uh, 0, 00 will result 0. And after that, we have to right shift 8 times. This uh, greater than mark is shift right side. If I shift uh, this two, these uh, each hexadecimals are 4 bits, 4 bits. So if I shift 4 times, this 3 will come here, 1 will come to third uh, three position and three will come to b position if i shift eight times three will come to zero position one will come to b, uh, b position so this here will, once it comes to this last end position i can send this eight bit information to another port so p2 also i have to open so open peripheral port p2 and you can see in port uh, 2 we are getting 1 3 here b0 similarly if i give ir number like 10 or 11 your answer may goes to uh, long no up to 32 bits if i go here so each uh, 2 2 bits you have to send it to lsp then only you can send it to the ports so you have to right shift by 8 here next time you have to right shift by uh, uh, 12 sorry 16 next last one you have to right shift by 32 okay 24 8 next to 16 no. 